Hey guys, here's another step for the movie poster series. Continuing with our movie poster series, I am done for now with working on Mr. Zero Kazama here, and we are ready to move on to the next character. The character on the left that I've already implanted into the poster is called Robbie Corbett. He's a very accomplished stuntman and parkour freerunner who participated in MTV's Ultimate Parkour Challenge as a judge. I've already taken the liberty of masking him out and putting him into the poster and trying to integrate him a little bit, and I've used techniques that I've already taught you before, so feel free to go through the playlist to learn how I did it. It includes vector masking, pixel masking, and burn and dodge tools. But he still needs a lot of work to be properly integrated into the poster. As you can see when he came in, we didn't really have a lot of resources on costumes. So what I'm going to do is all kinds of things. I'm going to change the pattern on his pants, I'm going to mess with his shoes, I'm going to do a lot to his gun, and I'm going to show you how to do all that. The first thing I'm going to show you is isolating a single color, specifically the red blood on Robbie's gun. By the way, that's a completely original gun, it has nothing to do with Gears of War. So, we're going to go to our smart object of Robbie, which I've already opened. Zoom in a little bit on this gun, and you will notice I've taken the liberty of isolating the gun itself. So what I want you to do is Commander Control J, duplicate this layer, get rid of the mask, because we're not going to use it, press OK. We'll call it Gun Blood. And now I want you to go up to Select, Color Range. This is a beautiful little tool that allows you to select a certain color. Now as you can see, I was working on it a little earlier, so it already knew what to look for. But I'm going to show you from scratch how it works. You take your eyedropper tool, that's right here, and you click on a certain part of the red that you want to isolate. And as you can see on this little preview area, the white area represents my selected area from the eyedropper tool. Now it didn't select everything, so I'm going to press plus and just get little areas that it missed. But as you can tell, it picked up other parts of Robbie because there are certain parts of Robbie that are considered to be a little red. And that's okay, you can press the minus eyedropper tool, go up to Robbie, Robbie's face, and just click on that general area and it gets rid of him. You can also change the fuzziness to get more of the color in. And it's okay if it's not perfect, because I'm going to deselect them later. And you can fuss around with a range based on localized color clusters. You check that, and you mess around with the range. And it will help isolate more the stuff that you don't want. And that really helps, because it got rid of the rest of Robbie. So off the fuzziness just a bit. And as you saw before, the image was isolated behind white, which you can do in the selection preview. You can choose between grayscale, black, white mask, or quit mask. And we'll just, for now, choose white matte. And it shows you what's isolated. As you can see, little parts around the gun are isolated, and we don't want that to happen. Real quick, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Press OK. And now certain parts of the image are selected. So I'm going to grab my marquee tool by pressing M. Make sure on the top options panel, the subtract from selection tool is selected. And just go over certain areas and it'll get rid of it. You can use elliptical or square. It doesn't really matter, but I prefer rectangle. Just get in there and get rid of certain pieces like his thumb. I don't want to mess with his thumb. And look around and make sure that nothing else is selected. Good. So we're pretty much ready to go. With the gun blood layer selected and your selection still there, click on the add layer mask button and you can see that the gun is there. And you can do all kinds of things to it. You can fill it in with a brush, making it darker. You can change the color balance and the adjustments, pretty much anything you want to get that different effect or to just isolate that one color. So give me a sec, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to experiment a little bit with this. Now we turn on our turn back on our layers. 
Command or Control S to save our smart object. And we're done. So that's basically how you isolate a color and make changes to it. For something like flowers or buildings, you can get a much more dramatic effect, but I was going for subtlety here. So in the next video, I'm going to show you a couple of basic techniques to change the color of Robbie's pants.